क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the ligands as well as the classification of ligands depending on the charge and in that case we have got to know that is ligands are the donor atoms or the donor group of atoms which donate the lone pair of electron or which donates the electron to the central atom but here we are going to talk about the classification of the ligands based on the donor atoms so here i am going to talk about the few important topics related to ligands So friends, now let us understand the classification of ligands based on the donor atoms. So talking about the first one, that is monodentate ligands. So what are monodentate ligands? Let us understand the definition and then let us understand the meaning of it. So the thing is, the ligands molecules or ions which have only one donor atom or one point of attachment and can coordinate with the metal ion at only one site in a complex, they are known as monodentate ligands. For example, suppose if I am talking about the ligands such as Cl minus. OH minus or CN minus. So here we can find that is this CL minus has only one point of attachment and that is from CL only. While here also there is only one point of attachment that is from OH. And even this CN minus has only one point of attachment with the central atom. But this CN has also a different classification, even that is what I'm going to talk about in the future topic right now. But now let us understand that is this all are the ligands and there are also many ligands which have only one site of attachment with the central atom that is the metal atom and that's the reason they are known as monodentate ligands so now let us understand the next one that is polydentate ligands so the next i'm going to talk about is polydentate ligands so that the meaning of this is very much simple in the previous point we have discussed about that is monodentate ligands and in that case we have got to know that is the monodentate ligands are those ligands which have only one point of attachment and only one atom can attach to the central atom that is the metal atom or ion so in this case i want to talk about polydentate ligands which have two or more point of attachment and in that case two or more atoms have the ability to donate the lone pair of electron or to have a coordination bond with the central metal atom so based on that it has been classified into that is bidentate ligands tridentate ligands tetradentate and hexadentate ligands so now let us understand the first one that is bidentate ligands so it is simple to understand that is so these are the ligands which have two point of attachment and that's the reason that they are known as bidentate ligands for example if i'm talking about that is ethylene diamine so the structure is ch2 ch2 here it is nh2 and here it is nh2 this is known as ethylene diamine but as we understand that is the nitrogen consists of a lone pair of electron and that's the reason it could take part in formation of a coordination covalent bond with the central atom and suppose in this case it is suppose if i'm talking about cu2 plus so therefore this is such a ligand which has basically two point of attachment over here and or basically we could say that is there are two donor atoms in the same ligand and that's the reason this ligands are called to be bidentate ligands so now let me explain it and now let me give you an example related to the tridentate ligand so talking about the next one that is tridentate ligand as the name suggests that is there will be three point of attachment towards the central metal atom and in that case there will be three donor atoms and that's the reason they are known as tridentate ligands so for example suppose if i'm talking about that is triethylene diamine and let me give you the structure of it so that you could understand it in a very better way suppose if i'm talking about that is ch2 here yeah, suppose it is ch2 and this is nh2 so here basically we can find there will be point of attachment so talking about the next one that is suppose this one so here basically the nitrogen has a load pair of electron and again here also there will be a point of attachment so similarly suppose if i'm talking about this one so there is another nh2 group so even this is a donor atom over here so therefore this is such a ligand where we can find that is there are three atoms which are donor atoms and the name of this is diethylene diamine which is represented by die that is diethylene diamine and now let me explain the next one the next is tetradentate ligand and now let me explain this with the help of an example or with the help of a ligand so in this case suppose if i'm considering that is ch2 suppose if i'm considering ch2 here also suppose if it is CH2, here it is NH, here basically we can find that is there is a donor atom over here, 
okay but the next one that is here it is ch2 here it is ch2 and here it is nh2 so from here also there will be point of attachment or the donor atom so similarly i could find the another one that is from this side so there will be point of attachment to the central atom over here so here it is ch2 here it is ch2 and here it is nh2 so here you can find that is there are four point of attachment to the central atom which would be over here and that's the reason the name is tetradentate ligands and there are basically four donor atoms so now let me talk about the next one but before that let me talk about the name of this one so this is known as triethylene diamine and now let me talk about the next one the next one that i'm going to talk about is hexadentate ligands so as the name suggests that this there would be six donor atoms and based on that let me talk about the common ligand and that is edta that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and in that case let me give you the structure of this so therefore it will consist of ch2 single bond ch2 along with that of that is nh having a donor atom over here that is from the nitrogen atom over here and here also there will be nh so this one would be the donor atom so talking about the rest of the thing that is this one would be ch2 c double bond o this is o and even this oxygen is a donor atom so similarly i could write it on this side also that is ch2 c double bond o oxygen atom over here so here by basically i have mentioned the four donor atoms and now let me talk about the last one ch2 c double bond o, o. so here basically there is fifth donor atom and talking about the next one that is So this is known as one, two, three, four, five, six. That is hexadentate ligand, and EDTA is best ligand because it is having six donor atoms that could easily bind or that could easily make a coordination covalent bond with the central atom. And so therefore, this were nothing but the example of the polydentate ligands. But one classification is remaining, and that is known as ambidentate ligands. So what is ambidentate ligand? Let me explain you. So the next one is ambidentate ligands. So in that case, the ligands which have two or more donor atoms but are capable of forming coordinate bonds. However, only one donor atom is utilized during the complex formation. Those ligands are known as that is ambidentate ligands. For example, if a metal is combined with various other ligands, and in that case, suppose if the point of attachment is suppose if I'm considering Cn that is cyanide as a ligand. So in this case, the carbon is associated with this metal. But suppose if I'm considering this metal, which has a attachment with nitrogen. So therefore, this is isocyanate. So in that case, we have understood that is the carbon here, it was a donor, but here the nitrogen is a donor. So talking about the other examples, that is suppose if I'm considering that is the metal, suppose if it is attached with a nitrate, that is NO2 but here the point of attachment is from the oxygen but suppose if I'm talking about the another example where I'm using nitrite as a ligand so in this case the nitrogen is the point of attachment with the metal and in that case this ligands which have that is two donor atoms but out of which only one atom donates the lone pair of electron or one atom has a coordination bond with the metal those kind of ligands are known as ambient ligands and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe thank you so much